Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun. And today I am back to do a cash stuffing for our last paycheck of April. So if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Becca. I live in South Florida with my husband and three kids. And we do utilize the cash envelope bu budgeting system to get out of debt more quickly and be more intentional with our money and give every dollar a job. So this is my bank envelope and this is what I take with me to the bank when I pull out cash and this money is after all the bills are paid with this paycheck and so this money is set aside specifically for expenses sinking funds and savings challenges so let's go ahead and see how much money we're gonna be working with today so this is my cash back teller slip that I do take to the bank with me and we did pull out a total of one thousand four hundred and thirty dollars to um, do our cash stuffing so let's count and make sure that's what we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand, one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, four hundred, and ten, twenty, and thirty. So that is what we had on our teller slip. $1,430. So let's get this all set up so we can start with our cash stuffing. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing well and staying as stress-free as possible. It's been a little bit stressful now that we're getting towards the end of school. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on, like in April and May. Um, a lot to keep track of, a lot going on. I so let's go ahead and get started with our first high priority binder. This binder is from Chicky Treasures on Etsy, and I will have her linked down in the description below. She does these beautiful resin binders and her work is flawless and gorgeous. So please go and check her out and tell her that Becca sent you. So um, I did change up this binder just a little bit. Um, Chicky also made these beautiful vinyl envelopes for me, but I was having some issues um, with the zippers being too bulky with um, the resin binder. So what I did was I actually cut off the zippers. I cut all of them off except for groceries because I wanted to um, show you guys the difference that it has made. So I did leave the zippers on groceries. And so like all of the other ones, as you can see, I cut off the zippers to make them zipless envelopes so I can still keep the cash in there. And it's nice and secure um, with these treasury tags. And I don't carry this around with me, so the money's not gonna fall out. Um, so look at how much more compact it is without the zippers. Um, it was really, really bulky before, so let me close it and show you guys. So yeah, it looks so much better now without all of those um, zippers on there. All right, so let's go ahead and stuff our groceries for the next two weeks. We do stuff for two weeks at a time. So we've been spending about $220 a week. So we're gonna be stuffing um, 440, one, two, three, four, and two twenties. So this will carry us through two weeks. And also somebody gave me a Publix gift card. Um, so I do have this as well that I can go to Publix and get some of the stuff that we need. So I'm gonna stick this in with my grocery money. Although we usually shop at a different store. I do love Publix, they're just a little bit pricey. So the next category is spending and we're just gonna be adding $5 to this one. This binder is pretty cleaned out. Um, there's only like maybe two envelopes that actually still have money in them. So we usually clean this one out pretty good over the course of two weeks. Um, kids, we're gonna be adding $20 to kids. And pets, let's add $50. Um, pet food's expensive, you know, stuff like that. So pets is at um, $70. This covers stuff for our dogs and our backyard chickens. And vet visits is gonna be getting $5. I was gonna make an appointment for one of my dogs and I ended up calling and they said that she didn't need a, an exam. And I'm like, well, you guys have been texting me and emailing me that she needs one. And they said, no, she's not due till later. So I was happy about that. So it gives me more time to save up for the next vet visit. So vet visits is at $100, $205 currently. 
All right, and household, for all of our household needs, um, I am gonna be adding $100 to this. Then we get most of our household items from Amazon. We do the monthly Amazon subscribe and save. And Food Forest is gonna be getting $20. We do have a Food Forest that we are working on and it is looking really, really good. Um, health, let's add $40 to health. This is like vitamins um, and supplements, things like that, that we get on a monthly basis. And medical is for long-term. I did have to pull um, all of this out for some medical things that I had to buy. We're gonna start um, trying to build this back up. So let's add $10 to long-term medical. And the last envelope in this binder is beauty and we're gonna be adding $5 to beauty. All right, so this binder is all finished. So we're gonna be moving on to my second high priority binder, which is this one. And this beautiful binder is from Princess Budget. She also does wonderful work with resin. And our first category here is homeschool. We're gonna be adding $20 to homeschool. I do homeschool my three children. And we do have some placeholders here. This represents money that is being held in a high yield savings account. So it can be getting some interest. So we do have 100, 200 and $300 in the bank and then $40 in cash. So $340 total um, for homeschool. Um, for co-op, we're not gonna be stuffing this. Co-op is um, coming to an end for the summer in just a few weeks. Um, a curriculum, we're also not stuffing that for a little while. That's for our homeschool curriculum for next school year. For car maintenance, we're gonna be adding $50 to this. And I know I do have to get my headlights worked on on my car. So currently we have 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars in the bank in car maintenance. And here's another 100, so that's 500, a 520 and 530 dollars currently in car maintenance. Yes, that is correct. 530. So that is looking good. We're bulking that up pretty nicely. And life insurance, we're going to be adding five dollars to this. And we are at $10, $25 for life insurance. And for lot tax, this is property taxes on a separate lot that we own. So we're so slowly saving up for this. I did end up cleaning this out. So we have 100, 200, 300 in the bank, and then we're adding 30, so 330 total. Um, for lot tax. Okay, so for our gift category, we're gonna be adding $10 to this. So currently gifts is at 100, 120, and $130 for gifts. Um, my next category is digital, and that's what this tracker represents. It is our yearly subscriptions, and I did add $20 to our yearly subscriptions fund. So let's do a quick debt check-in. Let me put this to the side very quickly. So I do this in all my videos so you guys can see um, a little glimpse into our debt payoff journey, although I don't talk a lot about that on the channel. So um, this one's gonna be paid off this year. That is the plan, our smallest debt, which is a personal loan. And then we also have the big one, which is our HELOC, and that is 36,000. And I do have three debt cards representing that one. So with this paycheck, we did make a payment on our personal loan. So I'm gonna color in a honeycomb to show that we made one payment on that. And we are getting very, very close, guys. Very close to paying this off. I'm very excited about that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven payments left. That is amazing. Um, and my 100 envelope challenge is also going towards this and I'm gonna be unstuffing that pretty soon. Um, I'm not going to actually finish it. I think I'm gonna unstuff it within probably the next month and just go ahead and put whatever's in there towards that loan and get it paid off um, in the next month or so. So we are all done with this binder and we're gonna be moving on to this binder. And this is my low priority binder. Okay, so for our vacation or travel fund, we're gonna be adding $20 to this one. 
I am planning on doing a little bit of traveling this summer um, once my kids are on break. I mean, we are homeschooled. We do homeschool year round, but the beauty of that is that we can take breaks whenever we want to, whether it be in the summer or in the winter, whenever we feel like it. So currently vacation or travel has $500 in the bank. So we were at 500, 550, 570, and $580 in this fund. And our next fund is you and me. This is for my husband and I, and we are currently saving up for um, our anniversary this summer. So we're gonna be adding $35 to anniversary, or you and me, I should say. So we do have $500 in the bank in this fund. So let's add our $35 today so we have 500 20 40 60 80 600 610 and 620 dollars in you and me that is that is great um, our anniversary is coming up uh, pretty soon so that is a great amount of money to have a nice staycation um thanksgiving let's go ahead and add five dollars we're just slowly putting money in this um, very slowly, like a $5 every two weeks. Once I get closer to Thanksgiving, I'll, I'll start putting more into it. So Thanksgiving is at 20, 30, and $40 currently. All right, so for special events, um, you know, I completely forgot about like when Mother's Day was and it was getting towards the end of April and I was like, wait a second, isn't Mother's Day coming up soon? For whatever reason, Mother's Day tends to creep up on me and I was like, okay, I gotta put like a good amount of money into um, my special events envelope for Mother's Day things. So I'm gonna add $100 for that. So we only have $10 in here. So currently we have 110 um, for special events and this will be going towards the Mother's Day things for my mom and my mother-in-law. So that is all for this binder. So let's put this to the side and I'm gonna grab all of this money that we have left and let's count and see how much we're gonna be working with for my savings challenges. So for that next video, we have a 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 50, and 60. So we actually have more than normal for my savings challenge video, which I am super, super excited about. So we're gonna be working with $460. So that is all for this cash stuffing. We stuffed our expenses and our sinking funds. And in my next video coming out very soon, we will be stuffing all of this cash into my savings challenges. I hope to see you guys on that video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me some love in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.